Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to be talking about properties, the get accessor and set accessor, otherwise known as getters and setters, and automatic properties. Now that our programs are getting larger and larger and we have classes accessing our class, how do we give a class um, access to our private member fields? Obviously we don't want to create these member variables public because then you know a class could possibly um, break our, our program by setting these variables to incorrect values. So the answer to this is actually uh, to create properties. And now what properties do is it allows a client of our class to appear that it's accessing our member, uh, private member fields directly, but in reality they're actually accessing these getter and setter methods. So let's go ahead and look at a concrete example of this. So what we'll do is we'll create a getter and accessor for our uh, member field, our private member field weight. So public int weight and weight is capitalized. Get return weight. It's very simple. And set weight equal value. And value is just simply our keyword. So now that we've created our getter and set setter, we can access this property. Uh, we'll just go ahead and delete this uh, directly. So we'll, we'll see an example of this. So first we'll run the program. You know, panda its weight is 92. So what we'll do is panda dot weight equal 95. So we set that set that directly. So let's go ahead and comment this out, and we'll access the getter uh, console dot right line pandas weight equals panda dot weight and now we'll be able to run this and we should see pandas weight is 95 so we actually use that property to change the uh, you know the values so why is this so important well the reason this is so important is just say that uh, you know this everything's encapsulated so it looks like a client of our class is accessing it you know these variables directly but what we can do is we could actually maybe get the uh, the weight from a um, you know from a database or from a text file and and again you know use data hiding and encapsulation to hide how everything is implemented from a client of our class so that's really the the importance of this and you know for instance maybe uh, you know we actually the weight you know we have a different class and maybe the weight is calculated it's actually you know uh, we have uh, you know some type of formula in here that returns the weight. Um, so, so you can kind of see the, the value of that. Now, we're creating a bunch of these, um, you know, properties. So, obviously, we don't want to have to write get and set and do this for every one. There's actually a shorthand notation for this. So, and it's pretty simple. We just do get and set, and that's that. And we can go ahead and run this again just to make sure that works. So that was a pretty quick one today. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to uh, post them on our YouTube channel or at Nextstar TV, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.